Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to get back into doing a couple of hacker boxes. I still have a couple in the works that we need to get through. Today the specific one we're going to do is 0079. And this one is still in stock as of the time of recording. I just checked it. So if you do end up liking this one, this is one you can still get currently. Let's look what's inside. So first we've got some sort of board. Got a couple of header pins. To get an ESP 32A1S, which I believe is some sort of AI thinker. Bunch of in input, X outputs, IOs on this board, so we'll have to see what all that's about. Got at least three JST connectors. Looks like a AirPods knockoff headphones. Some more jumpers. One 3.5 millimeter cable. Another 3.5 millimeter cable. Both of them are four pole. We got two speakers. A 32 gigabyte SD card with a shark on it. Be curious what's on that. And then we have two 3.5 millimeter jacks. An SD card reader of all sizes. That's cool. It's USB 2.0. Then we have our sticker, which I believe it calls it for the f like 45 RPM holographic sticker or something like that. And we have our HackerBox 0079 collectible card, audio DSP, it goes over the different types of connectors. Not sure what this is for yet, hopefully we'll get into that. And here is the pinout for that ESP32A1, which yeah, AI thinker. Okay. That'd be kind of interesting to see what we could do with it uh, elsewhere. In the picture it has an external antenna soldered on, but this one doesn't. But it's obviously one we can always add if we want to. Alright, let's take a look over here at what the Instructables looks like for this project. So it always starts off about the same, just an overview of the project, some info on it, how to get into subscriber, how to get subscribed to HackerBox, tools needed, and then it gets into the starts getting into the steps. So in this box, they want to teach you about processing sound in the digital domain uh, using an ESP32A1S audio microcontroller module. That's cool. So I guess it's just got the audio codec in it. It's an audio development kit, so that's what the board is specifically called. There's the features of it. And then it goes through the instructions of how to set it up. Now I have already looked at this and the amount of projects they have on this specific hacker box the amount of things you can do with this specific development board is crazy. There is so much. So you have the, it's just talking about the kit. So yeah, and this first part's a, a, a project. Uh, it'll take you, you 
whistling or whatever over the board and will output info, info of he links to a audio Arduino tools Arduino audio tools It's about downloading the library for it. And then the next project is generating an I2S stream, which I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it's something we can look into. Building a simple synthesizer. Th I'm only going to do one of these for this video. So I'm either going to do the simple th synthesizer or I'm going to decode MP3 streams from a URL and have it play in the DEFCON radio on Sama FM can decode an MP3 stream from an SD card. It's kind of cool. Didn't mention anything about there being anything already on that SD card. We'll plug it in here in just a second just to see. Uh, so digital filtering, low pass, high pass, band pass, band stop. It talks a little bit about filtering. That's cool. That's something I've kind of want to know a little more about. Designing a high pass digital filter. Analog high pass filter. That'd be cool. Functional audio stream. Tip ring ring sleeve. Tip ring ring sleeve. Tip ring sleeve. Oh, that's cool. And then it does its little hack life thing at the end. Tells you a little bit about it. So here's some of the other people that have made it. There's only two other people that have claimed making this one. Some of his other projects have tons of makes. So I'll have to add to this once we get it done. Okay, let's take a look at if anything's on this 32 gigabyte SD card. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, the SD card that came in mine might be dead. That's Just see if it'll even pop up in disk management. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's it's not dead. It's it just needs a drive letter assigned to it. And then once we have a drive letter assigned to it, we see that it's empty. Okay, easy enough. Well. There's not a whole lot to solder or make, so let me get these JST connectors attached to the speakers, and then I will get a, let's do the DEF CON radio one. We'll get the DEF CON radio uploaded and installed. All right, so I went with the synthesizer project rather than the DEFCON radio simply because I'm, I don't think it was anything with the project. I think it was more, I'm in the middle of upgrading my Wi-Fi because Eros are garbage. I do not suggest them to anybody. So I have a lot of devices that will not connect to my Wi-Fi currently. And this is one of those devices I'm assuming is the biggest reason that wasn't working. So I uploaded the synthesizer project and I'll show you how it sounds. <laughs> So yeah, a really cool little project. Uh, let's take a look over at the 
instructables again. So each of these synthesizers, or like the synthesizer here, it has some extra stuff on how to adjust it. I didn't change the volume. I thought the volume was high enough. However, this change here was much needed. The sound before making this change was just garbage and purely crackled. The only rattling you were hearing just a second ago, that wasn't even from the speakers. That was from some metal nozzles I have sitting over further away on my desk, if you could even hear them. But this, it uploaded just fine. So I'm assuming my issue is with my Wi-Fi network. I even tried without changing it to the DEF CON radio and leaving the default one in, still nothing. So I'm pretty sure that one has to do with my Wi-Fi not working properly currently. But if audio is your thing, if you want to learn more about like decoding audio, the different ways, uh, high, low, mid-pass, all, all that stuff, uh, I think this would be a great hacker box for you. This is probably one of my shortest HackerBox videos, but thanks for tuning in anyway. I want to remind everybody that I do have, I just hit 900 subscribers, so I'm almost to a thousand. hundred more subscribers, and we will be doing a giveaway of a complete WarDriver board. And I'm even thinking about, it probably won't go as part of the giveaway, but I, I want to find a charging circuit and some like 18650 battery cases or battery holders that I can mount to the back of this and just make one fully enclosed thing that maybe it has a switch to turn it on and off, but for sure is won't have to have an external battery with it all the time like it currently does. So at a thousand subscribers I'll be doing a video on this device building some and when I after I get done building it I will be giving that away included I will include a 3d printed case for it just like the one I have mine in currently. Uh, you'll have to su supply your own battery, but I will do, I will supply the antennas. A everything here except for the battery you will get in this giveaway. And I have a handful of, it is ABS plastic, so it it'll withstand heat. That one's been in the dash of my car f all day long in the Texas heat and been just fine. So that's something to look forward to. I've got a few other projects that I've got planned coming up. I'm still trying to figure out if I can get the Ponagachi program on running in just standard Linux. Uh, the instructions are way outdated, so I'm having a real hard time with it, but I'll, I'll keep trying for it. And then I do have another war driving project I will be doing soon. I don't know if, if you recognize this, you know it's the Raspberry Pi 4 wiggle bottle expansion board and I have if you've seen my Instagram I, I have majority of the parts I need for it. the biggest thing I still need to find is a suitable bottle to put everything in but that will be coming and when I do that I'll I'll, uh, I'll go through all the steps of getting Kismet set up on a Raspberry Pi as well but other than that uh, thanks for tuning in like subscribe share my videos. I'm almost to that thousand mark. We'll see you next time.